Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we got Queen starting as the Red Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Soma starting as the Brown Zerg. This is a game from Ladder on Invader. Should be a fun one. I'll talk about Invader in just a second. Before I do anything else, though, I want to talk about North American Pro League, which has a Patreon up. So if you want to support North American StarCraft, you can go to uh, Patreon slash NAPL. Jayun's putting that on, and that's currently being cast... Or that's the games are being played live on Artosis TV's channel. If I can get some of those replays, I'll cast them here if they aren't already casted otherwise. Should be a lot of fun. Anyway, Invader, if you guys have not seen it yet, you got the double egg leading to the natural expansion. You have kind of a revolver esque natural expansion where you have this ramp and the wide forward choke, so it's a little bit of an awkward natural expansion. You also have a low ground third that only has 3,000 gas. But you can see there's that large cliff edge where you can kind of... It's a little bit further away. It's not directly at the natural like some other maps. But you can see where attacks can engage across that section. There's also a third that has a pretty wide ramp to the north. And this is kind of the new map uh, the map maker showing off the new things they can do with a little bit of a, a wider ramp up there. And then you have these jutting up a little bit of ramp here you've got kind of these jutting expansions that in fact have 5,000 gas which maybe you can hide an expansion then the bottom corners the 5,000 gas with just a single ramp uh, on either side although the ramp a little bit it's kind of like a it's a ground entrance on the top side so it's not what do I want to call it? it's not like mirrored precisely on both sides but this ends up being a good base for zerg either direction although it ends up being quite a distance usually that's uh, going to be a factor in Terran versus Terran, and all that action I've <laughs> missed. Looks like we had a later, a close to even pool. So I'm thinking this might have been over pool versus over pool on both sides. Should be in it. I should have paid more attention in the base instead of highlighting the map for this next season. Uh, since it is ZVZ and all the action happens very, very early. Looks like a, uh, one more drone advantage right this second for Soma. Quick tech to layer. Spawning pool up. So an earlier gas for some overall. Queen has actually dropped an uh, in-base hatchery, interestingly enough. Maybe to mine gas. This is actually something we saw in the last season of ASL that's really shaken up Zerg versus Zerg. Queen was already very, very strong in this matchup. We also do see the Zergling speed upgrade with the initial flight of Zerglings making their way out. Tech to layer coming out later for Queen, but he is going to have that larva advantage. With that hatchery in base, six circlings currently holding short. However, we'll see if that overlord can get into the base in time to discover that layer timing. With the quick layer from Soma, he's going to have that up really uh, a ways before. One thing from Queen and his style of play is his Queen really, and this is unfortunate also if he was going to try to sneak the uh, mine from the middle location sort of that from the upper base that's a little bit more protected style of play four zerglings have been spotted but another slew of zerglings already encroaching you can see the drones lining up to provide a little bit of support and this is going to so queen has more drones but keep in mind two of them are not in the action so that's actually equalizing the overall worker count right now and i think soma's going to love sneaking up and seeing that he's in fact going to have the mutilisk advantage by several seconds I don't know that that's going to be enough to get across and get a first strike sort of situation. He might be able to kill this nearside overlord if he can find it. But what that will allow him to do is have air superiority through the long haul. And right now the drone count actually a little bit uh, uh, evened up otherwise. So I'm taking a bit more damage than Queen is walking up. Uh, that's a full control group right there on both ends. Two additional Zerglings being spawned this direction. I'm wondering if Queen's going to make a break for it. And try to, I don't know if he recognizes the timing. This is opening up Soma to go ahead and gra uh, grab a ground-based natural expansion, which should provide an overall advantage, being able to lock. First of all, having air control, being able to lock out an opponent from the natural expansion usually means you can get your own base up, that gas up, and keep a strangle hold on that lead. But Queen, in the meantime, powering the larva, or powering the, the drones, I should say, up five workers right this second. Initial Mulusks. I was going to say initial meal is taking flight, but it actually looks like it's a pair of Scourge, which surprises me a bit. So not what I was expecting right here. Now that Spire finishing opposite side. Interesting play. I'm curious how this is going to... This could be interesting. 
Okay, so Scourge gonna make their way out. They're not gonna have any targets though. They might be able to take out an Overlord. So this might be an attempt, but Queen's already got an Overlord stashed to work with. They will provide some scouting information as well. And they might, wow, with the timing of this, they might be able to snipe at least the initial Mutalisk. So Queen with the superior worker count now going for that low ground gas and building a slew of Mutalisk, but because Soma opting to, wow, okay, so one Mutalisk down, the additional Mutalisk going to draw that out, able to snipe the second one as well. Huh, interesting play overall. One Mutalisk in flight otherwise, sorry, two Mutalisk in flight otherwise. And now Queen's starting to breach the low ground and getting mining added it. And that's interesting. They actually warp off the ramp right there. Zerglings tacking and engaging. I believe the air, I've, from the timing, I expected a superior air fleet overall, but now it's just a bunch of patrolling Mutalus mid-map. This is the win condition for Soma is get that natural expansion up and keep it running. Queen, died, however, has had those six drones up for quite some time to get a stronger economy and he's had the larva to work with now my question is 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 this still a superior so we got six here yeah still has superior mutilus count overall but a weaker economy zergling getting sniped as it was looking to scout still a weaker overall economy for soma but really the big big factor in zvz aside from drones is really drones turning into gas that's kind of a weird statement should have phrased that differently. The drones don't turn into gas. They they allow more gas to... More, uh, more gas happens with the drones, and that's really the big aspect. Anyway. Looks like things have stabilized, and that's... I'm still curious about the initial... Maybe it's a lapse in my understanding of ZVZ, but I almost wonder if he had just produced Mutalisk, if he would have been able to maintain that lead with that earlier Spire overall, and still... Maybe you bought some time to deny things a little bit a little bit further. But right now, Queen, with that fight, and this is why Queen's so strong. One thing with Queen is, is he's got a lot of like macro catch-up from behind mechanics in this matchup. And he can do the I'm going to strike win it right away, which just makes him a much scarier opponent than your average Zerg. Because when you know your opponent can dive in and kill you with like the standard heads up all in play, but also macro out of situations. It just adds an entire layer and flavor to the mind game, especially when you're talking about situations where there's lack of scouting information overall. Still even overall, neither player opting to go for plus one weapons yet either. Queen looking to pick a fight. Scourge nearby. The Zerglings trying to dive in and get something accomplished as well. There's Zerglings there to greet them. Scourge, itch, I think, actually able to push a lot of that out. And the Zerglings mostly getting expended and not able to halt. Did they get even a drone kill? I don't think they got the drone kill. So perfect defense. Looks like a single Zergling managed to get in. It's going to get taken out by drones. So that was a lot of Zerglings expended for nothing. And now a four supply lead for Queen, yes. But keep in mind, two of that supply is basically the, the two supply over was in drones. So now Soma actually has a larger army. And has a nearby easy, if we can get some more drones out here, uh, might lead to a victory. But Queen instead, wow, after that, clearing the army, feeling, you know what, we got an army trade. I feel like you can't attack into me. Somehow I know I have the worker lead overall, maybe because of timing of spires and whatnot. I'm going to grab a third hatchery. Very brave. I'm going to grab a third hatchery and play from here. Mutalus now moving out for Soma. Supply counts are even, so Queen actually down, but it's a closer reinforcement point. So could go either way. Drones not getting picked off right there. Scourge being pulled off by Queen. Now trying to re-engage. Some Scourge on hold position. They're getting microed out of the fight. Now the Scourge looking to re-engage now that that field's full. And now one drone taken out. Two drones taken out in the background, but the Mutalists in flight. And as they're spawning the rally points misguiding them. It looks like Soma actually able to get some Zerglings straight on that hatchery as well. So now the worker lead has diminished for Queen as well. He does have this third hatchery nearby, but I don't know that he's even going to be able to utilize it. Re-engagement 
from Queen. He's got several weakened Mutalisk. It looks like they, they haven't been, been uh, subject to the Glaive. This is still close to reinforcement point, and Soma overstaying is welcome, so four Mutalisks remaining. Queen now has a superior Air Force, but Queen, with all the damage the Zerglings have done in the meantime, behind in drones. Overall, he does have three hatcheries, however, and finally able to restabilize. Let's see what Soma's up to. So now it's flip. Soma has the worker lead. The gas is absent for Queen. But a much larger Mutalisk army remains. And that's leaving these overlords exposed. I don't know that Soma wants to engage this fight in forward field. If Soma can just hold on somehow, he will end up winning this match. Scourge continue to chase down Mutalisk. Wow, the Glaive's wiping out all the Mutalisk in kind. And Queen now flipping the script where he overstayed his welcome and now his mutilus in retreat two versus three although he has nope and gonna end up losing those mutilus as well he's down a drone and down eight supply he does have three hatcheries up but unfortunately three hatcheries doesn't mean anything it's just extra larva, and he's not going to have the resources to work with, and loses some drones, some additional drones scattering, waiting for additional mutalists to maybe provide some sort of support. Three mutalists versus two, and this is just turning into army, or versus four, I should say. Five incoming, Soma pressing the attack. Let's see if some skirt, nope, just kind of GG right there. Overwhelming queen in a rare defeat in ZVZ to Soma. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, check out Patreon slash NAPL. Might be able to get a replay from that somewhere out in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.